We've got to see that, first of all, Jesus gave his disciples an assignment. He said, I want you to go to the other side of the lake. There's an assignment. There's something I want you to do with your life. I want you to leave. I want you to experience. Move from here to there. You're going to go through a journey with me. I want you to experience this journey. And every one of us, we have a journey. There's an assignment to your life. Jesus is asking you to live a certain way, to follow a particular pathway. He's called you to that pathway, just like he gave an assignment to the disciples that day. Go to the other side of the lake. And then the Lord went up on the mountainside to pray. While they're on their journey, Jesus was on the mountaintop. He was praying for them. Now, there's a lot of things we could talk about there. That's exactly what Jesus is doing for you today. The Bible says that Jesus is seated at the right hand of the God, the Father. He's making intercession for you. He's praying for you. He's praying for me. Think about that for a moment. So you're on the journey. Jesus was praying for them. Jesus is praying for you. And then on the, in the midst of the journey, there was a test that came. The test was the buffeting of the winds and the waves that now begin to happen. They found themselves in a storm. And so they're on the right journey Jesus is praying for them, but they're still facing a storm. In the midst of their storm, they actually find themselves afraid, which is very much like us. And the Lord comes to them walking on the water and comes to them in their trial. You must remember that anytime you're going through a trial, anytime you're going through a testing phase in your life, God's going to show up. He's not going to leave you alone. So Jesus came to them walking on the water, came to them in the midst of their journey. Now, this prevailing emotion of fear was still there, but Jesus shows up and he begins to speak to them, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Now, the opposite, I believe at some level, the opposite of fear is faith. And so in essence, when Jesus was saying, don't be afraid, he was saying, have faith, have confidence, have trust in me. You don't need to be afraid. I'm here with you. You can put your faith in me. Of course, we know the story that Peter asked if he could come uh, on the water, and Peter ends up walking on the water, and he sees the winds and the waves, and he begins to fall, and Jesus reaches down and rescues him, which is another important part of the story, because Jesus always lifts us up. He never pushes us down. He always lifts us up, even when we make mistakes in our life. But Jesus ends up back in the boat with his disciples, and again, they make it safely to the other side. Uh, from which he had, for which he had originally called them to make the journey. So they do make it where he called them to go. But in the midst of it, they found themselves afraid. But Jesus said, don't be afraid. That is, have faith. And then he makes a statement to them. Once he gets in the boat, he said, oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? That phrase right there is the phrase I want to talk about as we're wrapping up today. Oh, you of little faith. Little faith implies, obviously, something that is small, okay? Now, if Jesus said, oh, you have little faith, there's the implication that something that is little should have been or could have been bigger, right? So you can't, little is a description of an item or an an entity or a substance or a concept or some aspect of your life in reference to a larger aspect. You can't say little without comparing it to something bigger. So Jesus was saying, I'm calling you out of your little faith into a bigger faith. Here's all I want you to see from that today. I want you to see that wherever you are, you may feel like you have little faith, but little faith has the capacity to grow into big faith if you'll use it. That's the key. Jesus was calling them to begin to use their faith. He was reminding them, I've got you on a journey. I'm going to be with you in any kind of trial you go through. I'll always come to you in the midst of your trial. You'll not be alone. And you don't need to be afraid. You need to begin to exercise your faith, even though it's little. And I can take a little, I can turn it into a lot as you begin to exercise it.